Hey there, John Reap here, comedian, actor, podcaster, and son. That's right. You know, I've been doing comedy a long time. Some might say too long. And half of my act is the crazy, funny, goofy stuff my dad has done. So I thought for Father's Day, I'll make a compilation. Here are the top three most requested dad stories of all time from me. My whole family's full of characters. <laughs> like my dad, like a, my dad always had this quick fix for a problem that just never worked ever. We had a pool growing up when I was a kid in our backyard. It was a nice pool, it had a deep end, had a shallow end. It was a kind with a lining in it. And one day the lining of the pool got ripped at the very bottom and he had to fix it. Now he could have easily drained out all the water first, but that would have been simple, safe, efficient. He's like, I ain't got time for that. That'll take all day long. So he figures he's just gonna get a backpack, okay? Fill it full of rocks to hold him down at the bottom. You know, so he can fix it without floating up. <laughs> Makes sense. And then, he, he's gonna use a garden hose to breathe through. <laughs> I am not making this up. <laughs> Me and my brother are just supposed to hold a hose for, at the top. I wish you guys could have seen him, man. He was hanging on the side of that pool. He's got a sack of rocks on his back. <laughs> Duct tape, hose. And he got nervous right before he went underwater. And he gave us this little speech. He's like, hey, hey, you shut up and listen to me for a second. This is important. Now listen. If you two boys feel your daddy here tugging on this hose, that means abort mission. And then pull me back up with this hose. <laughs> so you gotta imagine two little boys just standing there with this hose in charge of their father's life. No big, and we're just thinking, daddy sure is smart. He goes underwater, he's down there maybe, maybe 10 seconds. And of course, the water pressure starts to collapse the hose. So he starts tugging on it. And me and my brother, we panic. And we just yank it. Out of his mouth and out of the pool. He's And you, can, you cannot get a hose to go back underwater. <laughs> It'll snake up on you. So he's down there freaking out now because he can't get the backpack off, you know? <laughs> and me and my brother up top, look, daddy's waving. <laughs> Finally, he decides the only way out of this problem is he is just gonna make a run for it <laughs> to the shallow end of the pool. <laughs> Up the slope. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody just try and get it. <laughs> Underwater with a sack of rocks on their back. It's not very effective. I mean, he would get halfway up the slope and then hit some algae and go back down. We didn't think he was gonna make it, man. <laughs> he did, somehow. He made it all the way up to the shallow end of the pool. He came out of that water, he was livid. <laughs> He's, he just come out like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> come here, both of you. <laughs> what the hell? He just loves to scare the crap out of people. That's my dad's thing. Every day, Friday 13th at my house. 
You do not want to get the hiccups in my house. He loved that. Come home from school. Hey, Daddy. Uh, Daddy, I think I got the hiccups. Yeah, I got the hiccups. He goes, you got the hiccups? Oh, Betty. Come here, I'll take it. Oh! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I-, I pooped in my pants. <laughs> I still got the hiccups. <laughs> the only thing that has changed is the poop in my pants. I'm scared the shit out of you. Man, this next story, this might be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I was in the eighth grade, came home from church one Sunday afternoon with my family, and I just go straight to the bathroom. While I'm in the bathroom, my dad sneaks off to my room and he hides in my closet. Just because he wanted to scare me when I went in there. It was innocent, but I don't know he's in my closet. I don't have this information. I go to my room. I shut my door. I walk up to my mirror. I'm checking me out in the mirror. I was, you know, I was posing for myself. I was going through puberty. I was just looking at myself. I started taking my Sunday school clothes off. I had a jam box on my dresser. I turned my jam box on. And it was uh, Prince. I know. And he was singing when doves cry. Now, I know it might sound weird to some of y'all coming from this accent, but I love me some damn Prince. <laughs> that was good. One of the best guitar players of all time. And I'm at the age, I happened to see the movie Purple Rain in the theater when it came out. I was there on a date. That was the first time I French kissed a girl and touched a titty. That song meant something to me. So I'm going through that. I'm just taking my clothes off. I'm looking at me and I'm starting singing this song to myself. Like I'm looking at my own image. I'm going, dig if you will, I bet you. Of you and I engaged in the gas. Sweat of your body. Like I'm getting sexy for myself. I was making eye contact with me. I was getting emotional. I almost started crying. I sang the whole song to myself like that. Stripping the whole way. I get all the way down to my tidy whities and my black socks, like Tom Cruise from Risky Business. If Tom Cruise looked like a 13-year-old horny orphan Annie, that's why. <laughs> I was smaller, skinnier, had curly hair. Now I'm done singing. I've got my suit on the hanger. See, I'm a good boy. I'm gonna go hang my suit up in that closet just like my daddy taught me. Now this whole time in that closet, my poor dad, my poor, poor dad, this whole time from the shutters has accidentally watched this whole thing. He didn't want to see that. He didn't know I was going to do that. He was hoping that I would forget to hang the suit up for once. And I would have left the room and he could have snuck out later. He felt embarrassed for me. (laughs) He actually told me later in life, he goes, I'll never forget that shit. (laughs) But he can't move. Because I'm a good boy. I'm going to go hang my suit up in that closet. Just like my daddy taught me. I walk over to that closet. I open the closet doors. And he's just standing there. <laughs> but, like he's been, he's, been, he's been waiting for it. He knew it was coming. He's, he's standing there like this. He goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing in here? This is what it looks like 
when your son cries. <laughs> I had to mow the grass when I was a kid. That was my job. And between our yard and our neighbor's yard, we had these railroad ties. You guys know what a railroad tie is? Good. Some people don't know, you have to tell them. It is a square log. That's it, that's all they are, just a square log. I don't know why they were there. I guess he thought the Polar Express might come through or not. All I know is I had to edge up against the logs. So I got this lawnmower and I'm edging, I'm edging. Sometimes I edge like this just for fun. <laughs> I'm just edging, and I see a bunch of bees hanging out on this one log. And I was like, screw that. I skipped that log. You know, finished the yard, going to tell dad I'm done, which is a mistake. As soon as you tell your dad you're done with the job, what does he do? That's right. My dad does this move first. He goes, oh, you finished already? That was fast. It is record time. Let's take a looky looky out here. Said you finished, huh? Okay. Let's say, oh, what's this right here? Right there, you missed a spot, didn't you? Right, the one with the grass coming out of it. Right there, you missed a spot, didn't you? I was like, Daddy, I think there might be a bee's nest. <laughs> Under, uh, not be a bee's nest under that log. <laughs> he goes, he goes, bee's nest! Bee's nest! You gonna go with that? A bee's nest, that's your final answer, bee's nest. You think I'm stupid, don't you? Let me tell you something, son. Bees live in trees. He said those words. He said, bees live in trees. I don't know if he meant to rhyme it, but it did. He, you know? he just said, bees live in trees. And then he took the lawnmower and he, cooked that, he kicked the log over. I just went. And he just mowed over where the log was sitting. And it wasn't a bee's nest. It was a wasp nest. Yeah, turns out they can do what they want. <laughs> and I think he thought if he put the lawnmower on top of that nest, then all of the bees or wasps would get magically sucked into that bag on the side of the lawnmower. But you know, bees don't work like that. Bees are crafty some bitches. I wanna say it was five seconds, he had a cloud of 500 bees hovering his head which is now a honeycomb, and like he's freaking out. He's swatting bees, he's gonna punch bees. And he just took off running, uphill. He just ran up the hill in a zigzag pattern. I said, Daddy, that's for alligators. Lawnmower's going downhill by itself. <laughs> Taking out the neighbor's bushes. And here's the kicker. We have a swimming pool. That he could have jumped in for a second at least to get the bees physically off of his body. But he ran past the pool. When I say past it, I mean next to it long ways. It was there. He ran past the pool and he got in his truck he drove off! <laughs> he got the hell out of there! <laughs> he flew me! Yeah! He's gone for three hours! No cell phones back then, no goodbye. Didn't know if it's ever coming back. Three hours, gone. He came back three hours later. We was worried about him. Like he had bee stings all over his body. And his face was red and puffy. He looked like a dodgeball with the chicken pox. I remember looking at him going, Daddy, what happened? Are you okay, Daddy? What happened? 
He goes, I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> I had bees on me, dumbass. <laughs> what do you think happened? I flipped out. I lost it. I just lost that. I, I took off running. Ran past the damn pool. I just see, I just, I saw my truck. I got my truck. And I was in there and I thought, well, hell, might as well go to the grocery store. <laughs> he went shopping. <laughs> he came back with like eight bags of groceries. So happy Father's Day, everybody. Leave a comment down here if this is something your dad would have done. And uh, I hope you like and I hope you share. Happy Father's Day!